What's going on today? Hey Sky, I'm doing an article for Nature Magazine and taking some pictures. Sounds interesting. Do you need a beautiful girl for the cover? Sure, give me your best pose. So, tell me about the article. Well, it's about the differences between insects and spiders. What have you got so far? Well, I know that insects have six legs and spiders have eight. Okay, you're right so far. I could really use some help. It's really pretty easy. You need to think of them as two different families. Just like human families. They have characteristics that make them look different. Okay, so here's a photo I took of a moth. You know what they call the world's largest moth, don't you? No, what? A mammoth. <laughs> ha, very funny, Skye. Come on, I, I need your help. Okay. In seriousness, that is a photo of the largest moth in the world. It's called an atlas moth. That's helpful. So here's a photo of a blue morpho, like you. So how is the spider different than you? First of all, you will see that a blue morpho has three distinct body parts. A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. If you look at the spider, he only has two body parts, a head and an abdomen. Okay, and of course the spider has eight legs, and the butterfly has six legs. And only the insect has antenna. Right. Antenna help us to smell and give us a sense of direction. So what does the moth have that the spider doesn't have? Ah, wings. Yes. Insects may or may not have wings. But you will never see a spider with wings. So, I noticed that butterflies have this long tube on their heads. What is that? That's a proboscis. It's what we use to drink. Insects also have strong jaws to chew, and you can see a set of pinchers to carry our food. Okay, so on this close-up of the butterfly, I can see that he has big, bulging eyes. Yes, insects have compound eyes. We can see almost all the way around our entire bodies. That's why you can't sneak up on a fly. Oh, so they can see me coming. So what kind of eyes do spiders have? Are you guys talking about spiders? Yes, I'm explaining the difference between insects and spiders to Scott. Well, come on, I can help you. Wow, a real tarantula. The biggest of all the spiders. Scott, this is Lily. Hi there, Lily. So to answer your question, Scott, spiders have anywhere between two and eight simple eyes. They're very tiny, so they can't see very well. What are those? They look like another pair of legs. Those are feelers. Since spiders don't see very well, they use feelers to feel their way around in the dark. Lots of spiders live in caves, and they are nocturnal. So that means they're active during the night? Yes. Spiders hunt for their food during the night. You can see that she also has fangs to grab and eat her food. So they catch their food in a web. How do they make the web? Every spider has spinnerets that they use to spin silk for their webs. Spiders and insects both have an exoskeleton. An exo-what? An exoskeleton. It means that we don't have a skeleton of bones inside our skin like you do. We wear a skeleton on the outside of our bodies. When a baby spider or insect hatches from an egg, it begins to grow. For example, as this spider gets bigger, her skin doesn't stretch and grow like our skin does. When she gets too big for her exoskeleton, she just molts it or sheds it, and she has a new one underneath. Sort of like having a new set of clothes on underneath our old ones. Exactly. When she sheds her old one, she just slides right out of it, just like taking your hand out of a glove. The new exoskeleton underneath is bigger and fits her better, so she can keep growing. She'll keep doing this until she's full grown. So, insects do this too? Yes, but baby insects grow up differently. Sky, why don't you tell them how butterflies grow up? Well, when baby spiders hatch, they look just like miniature copies of their mamas. Butterflies look completely different from their mamas. They're caterpillars, aren't they? Yes, long, squishy worms. 
As caterpillars, we actually molt and lose our skin, just like the spider. About the fifth time we molt, we attach ourselves to a branch and form a chrysalis underneath our exoskeleton. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar goes through a transformation process called metamorphosis. Our bodies change from a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly, so when we emerge from our chrysalis, we no longer wiggle on leaves to get around, we fly! Wow, this is all really amazing. I can't wait till I go home and write my article about the differences between insects and spiders. I can give you more information to take home. That'd be great. Can you hold him for me? Uh, I, I, it's pro I, I have a meeting. Thanks for the info. You don't think Lily scared him off, do you? Thank you.